Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about vector subspace and its example. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. First of all, what is the vector space? Is any non-empty set V whose element may be the vector, matrix, functions, and this element also called as the vector is called as the real, or you can call as the complex vector space if it defines the two algebraic op operations. One is the vector addition. and the scalar multiplication which satisfies the following properties that is satisfy the closure for the addition sides that is you can say this forms the abelian group you all of know that if satisfy the commutativity associativity existence of the unique zero elements and the additive inverse it form a group on the other hand if you call as the scalar multiplication when you consider is scalar number alpha and when you multiply them you will satisfy these five properties so any of the set v if satisfied these 10 properties then we call as the vector space look at that these closer properties are here if all these elements u v and so on and the properties and the scalars are my real then we call as the real vector space otherwise we call as the complex vector space for example if i say v is the set of all those continuous functions defined on the 0 1 and such that f of 2 by 3 is my 2 can you say that this is a vector space or not in order to prove whether it is a vector space or not we have to satisfy all these 10 properties but the major important thing is you have to satisfy firstly these two properties that is a closure property what is given to you a function v which is defined over here how you can prove the closure property if you consider that two uh, functions f and g which belongs to the v it means f of this is my 2 and g of here what is the meaning of the closure properties that is f plus g must be belongs to the v when it will be belongs to the g we can start from the f plus g and we will try to prove whether it is becomes a 2 or not and you can see this is not equal to 2 what is the meaning of that it means f plus g does not belongs to the g hence closure property not satisfied so it is not a vector space what is the subspace are there if you have the vector space v if you consider the subset w of the v this is the subset of the v then it said to be the subspace if it form a vector space under the same operations as of the scalar and the multiplication that means if it again satisfy all these 10 properties as of the v in other words you can say any non empty subset w is said to be the subspace if you take any of the two elements from the w like say you can take any of the two elements in this and you can take the scalar values alpha and beta then the linear combination of this again in the here that is a closure argument or in other words you can say if you take any two u and b if you prove that sum and the scalar multiply which belongs to the same set then it's a vector space or subspace the necessary and the sufficient condition for the vector space w to be the subspace whenever these three properties are satisfied what is the strategy behind that how you can solve that whether it is a subspace or not if you want to prove that it is a subspace then it means you have to satisfy these three properties if you want to disprove them it is enough to provide a one counter example that either of the condition is not satisfied for example let's say discuss the 9 to 10 examples in this presentation so that you may able to understand its clear man what is given to you that's a subset s w is given of the r cube that means v is r cube and check whether it's a subspace or not there's a very simple that it means your target is to check whether this is satisfied or not so i can take what is that you have to firstly start from the u so let u belongs to the w so since it is a uh, it's a pair of the r cube so i can take as a a b c what is the meaning of that if it is satisfied here it means the first element whatever the first element it will be here so can you say if i just take alpha as of the any number what is my alpha of the u so alpha of u is my alpha a alpha b and alpha c can you say that this number is always be less than 0 if a is my less than 0 no because if you take alpha as any of the negative number can you say this number is my less than 0 always it can't be because this a is my less than 0 so this becomes my positive always it means this property is not satisfied hence if one of the property is not satisfied so it means this is not the subspace look at the another one is there if c is the integer so you have to prove that c is the integer again i can start with the u such that c is the integer again if you think about here what is that this is alpha a alpha b and alpha c can you say that if c is the integer if you multiply with alpha which is any of the real number 
then alpha c is always be the integer no because if you take alpha as this you all knows that this is in the r then you can can you say this is a integer no because root 2 is a irrational irrational number so you can see this is not be the integer hence it is not the subspace look at the another one is there so can you say this is the subspace again you can since here you can start with the u uh, your target is here i can take u as here and of this so you can take if you want to satisfy this property then you can take v also as say a2 b2 and c2 and so on so can you say alpha of, again what is the alpha of u so you can see uh, if i say alpha is 3 then you will get can you say a square now in this case this is my a so it's a 9a square 9b square plus 9c square can it be less than 1 it can never be why because i can write this value as here what is the a square plus b square plus c square is less than 1 can this number always be less than equal to 1 no why because it's a less than 9 it can be the 8 it can be the 7.8 and so on it means this property is not hold it is not a subspace can this property be the can second part what how you can prove that again i can take the u and v as that if I, if you want to start from here if, what is the meaning of that u belongs to this it means a is equal to b is c that is a1 b1 and c1 are there and so on can you find the u plus v what is the u plus v is here so what is your target your target is to prove this element must be is equal to this element and so on here since a1 plus b1 a1 and these are there can you say a1 plus a2 is equal to b1 plus b2 that's true because a1 is nothing but a2 and so on so this sum will be nothing but my 2 of a1 this sum will be nothing but my 2 b1 is nothing but 2 c1 it is same as here it means u plus v belongs to the w similarly if you multiply them here again a1 and this satisfied if you multiply alpha as here then it will again be here so both the properties are satisfied it is a subspace b this is the first method otherwise you can start with here instead of proving this as a separately you can start with the alpha u plus beta v where alpha and beta are the real numbers what is the alpha if you multiply this alpha you will get here now what is your target is your target is to prove a is equal to b is c now this is my a your target is to prove here how you can prove that since u and v belong here what is that from this pair can you say alpha of a1 plus beta of a2 what is the value of this what is the a1 this is nothing but my b1 a2 is nothing but my b2 so it will be here you can see this value is nothing but my here similarly you can prove for the second part it will here so this means this is the subspace look at this one is this a subspace or not so you have to satisfy these properties are there alpha of u and 0 belongs to the so clearly see that the zero element that is a zero plus zero is not equal to one so it means it is not a subspace otherwise what you can do you can take the two elements u and v any of the two which satisfy these properties you can see x plus y is one again can you say u plus v this is here is it one no it means this is not the subspace or either you can say that w zero does not belongs to the here or if you want to use the alpha of u take alpha as any of the numbers say alpha is my 2 can this number be belongs to this again it will be not be there so it is not a subspace so you can use either this or this or zero does not belong to the property any of one of them can you say this again you can see in this case w zero belongs to the here so first property satisfied can this property will be there we will see that if you take any of the two pairs which satisfy this property now what is the u plus v you can see that this is 1 1 and 2 is this satisfied no because 1 into 1 is can't be a zero so it means this is not a subspace look at the another one is there so now it's a polynomial so do you think that if you consider any of first part is do you think if you consider any of the two polynomial whose degree is 4 that is x4 are there the sum of the degrees that is a, if i consider u and v then sum will also be the degree of 4 it can never be because if you consider this as here both are the degree 4 it means these are belongs to the w if you add them what will happen this is not of the degree 4 it means this does not belong to here hence 
this is not be the subspace similarly if you look about that if you consider any of the two polynomials say p1 and p2 whose degree is greater than 5 so you may consider the sixth degree x6 and so on can you say the sum of them will also be the degree greater than 5 again it will not be there you can see both the polynomials are of the degree greater than 5 what will happen if you add them if you add them it will be of the degree 4 it means it is not be the greater than or equal to 5 hence it is again not a subspace look at this one if you consider any of the two polynomial whose degree is less than or equal to 3 like of here so what will happen either a0 can be 1 b0 can be minus 1 and so on if you add them what will happen either this pair will be cancelled out then the degree will be 2 again it satisfied that it is less than or equal to 3 if this and this both will be cancelled out then the degree may be 1 again it satisfied it means the sum of them will always be less than or equal to 3 degree now our target is to prove the second part also if you multiply this by the alpha alpha is a scalar number then again it will be satisfy the degree less than or equal to 3 it means this is obvious a subspace look at this some more examples are there if you consider a set of all the symmetric matrix are subspace or not so it means if i consider w as all those matrix from the n cross n such that a is symmetric what is the meaning of the symmetric this is my symmetric is there now what is your target to check whether w is a subspace or not your target is to be here so what you can do i can take a and b belongs to the w what is the meaning of that it means a transpose is my a and b transpose is my b then we can start from the a plus b when a plus b will be here i can start from here if i prove that it will be here then a plus b will be w and second is if i prove that this will be my here then i can say this will be belongs to the w and you can easily prove that a plus b transpose is nothing but here what is the a transpose is a this is proof it means w is a subspace if you look about the second example it means collection of all those even function what is the meaning of the even function that is whenever f of x is here so you can see that this is the property of the even function again you have to check whether it's a subspace or not you can start with the two f and g it belongs to w means these two properties are satisfied what is your target is here so for that what you want to prove it means if you start from here if you are able to prove this will be here and if you start from here and if you prove that it will be nothing but my this then it is a subspace so you can see that if i start from the f plus g i can open this bracket because it's a continuous so what is the f of minus x it is nothing but f of x so it means i can write this value as f plus g of x and same for here it means w is a subspace look at the another one there again it's a polynomial are there you have to consider now in this examples in this example it is not a restriction on the degree of the polynomial so it can be degree is a 7 it can be degrees 4 it can be of anything so i can consider a p of x is any polynomial of degree n such that p of 1 is 0 what is a p of 1 that means sum of here so it means when you say that it's a subspace you consider that two polynomial p1 and p2 one is the ais and second is bj such that p of 1 is 0 that means sum of the ais and sum of bi are 0 now your target is to prove whether this belongs to the w and alpha of p1 is also belongs to the w now if you add them this will be here now again it's a polynomial because sum of the two polynomial is a polynomial so it means this belongs to the w now you have to check only that p1 plus p2 of 1 if it is a 0 then it i can say this value belongs to the w so i can start from here you can easily prove that what is the p1 plus p2 of 1 since x is 1 so it will be my here now i can open this bracket it will be 0 so here therefore p1 plus p2 belongs to the w second part is you can start with the alpha if you multiply them it is a polynomial your target is to prove alpha of ai is my 0 so if you start from them alpha can be taken outside what is the value of the ai it's a 0 it means here therefore alpha of p1 is also belongs to the w hence it is a subspace 
How you prove this one? So you have to consider all those polynomials which are less than or equal to 4. So I can consider this is a polynomial of less than or equal to 4. Such that f dash is my 0. So what is the f dash? What is the, uh, what is the derivative at a point 0? So it will be my 4a cube. This is my 3a1x square. This is my 2a2x plus of a3 at x is equal to 0. So what will happen? This will be 0. This will be 0. So a3 will be my 0. So if I substitute a3 is 0, it means this part will be cancelled. So my p of x will be my here. So w is nothing but collection of all those polynomials such that a3 will be 0. Now you have to consider the two polynomials p1 and p2 of degree here. Now can you say that p1 plus p2 if you take any of the two polynomial of this form whatever the value of the a0 a is the sum is again a polynomial whose degree is less than or equal to 4 that's true because if you consider a0 as a 1 and 4 here this is a minus 1 and if you add them it will be the degree less than or equal to 3 again satisfy this property so it means sum is again a polynomial of degree less than 4 what will happen if you consider the scalar multiply again if you multiply this again is the degree of polynomial 4 it means both the properties satisfied is a subspace look at the last examples are there if you consider about here Again, that's a very simple task for that. You have to take the two u and v, which of the form x1, y1 and same, which is here. Your target is to prove that whether the u plus v is here. So what is the u plus v is this one. Now you prove that this belongs to the w when, when y upon x, that is uh, this property is satisfied. So I can start with the left hand side. What is the value of the y1 from here? You can substitute the value of here. You can take the root 2 common. It will be here. It means this satisfied. Now you can start with the alpha of u. What is the alpha of u is here? That is my here. Then your target will be y upon x will be here. So you can start with the left hand side. You can see alpha will be cancelled out. y1 upon x1 is nothing but my root 2. It means this is the subspace. Similarly, you can prove this one. You can try it yourself. I will put up your some exercise for you. You can try to prove that this is subspace or not. You can see this is not the subspace because 0 does not belong to the here. Again, this is not the subspace because 0 does not belong to them. And so on. Again, you can try to prove this one. And the answers are my here. Again, you can try to prove this. More questions are there. You can again see that 0 does not belong to this one. So it means this is not the subspace. And so on. You can try this more are there. You can try to again this are there and so on. If you want to find some more videos, you can simply see it there. We will see the next le lecture on the more properties or the results on the subspace like their intersections. Till then, you can simply subscribe this channel, share this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.